more light pole antenna tests, this time using it as a broadcast receiving antenna with a crystal set. I'm using the same configuration as I did for 160 meters. The 28 meter tall light pole with a coupling loop, basically a triangle of wire, with a perimeter of 20 meters. One side of the triangle is hard up against the metal case of the light pole. Another pole holds it to keep the triangle as open as possible. Results initially were not very good. Then, when I added my QRP magnetic loop tuner, they came up. There is obviously a poor impedance match between the feed loop and the front end of the crystal set. And the tuning is quite sharp, requiring adjustment of both the tuning capacitor in the crystal set and the two variable capacitors in the magnetic loop tuner. Yes, it is, yep. And it's just being powered by the radio station, so it's completely self powered. So it needs a tall antenna though to work. Yeah. Is this actual like AM or? Yeah, it is AM. You can have a listen. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Have a listen. The sound you're hearing now is that from the unamplified crystal set with the high impedance headphones held right up against the camera. This station I think is about 5 kilowatts and is probably about 20 kilometers from here. We'll just demonstrate the tuning of the magnetic loop tuner. As you can probably hear, it is fairly sharp. I know that this tuner covers at least the top end of the broadcast band. Not sure how low it goes. For that, you'd need bigger variable capacitors or maybe something like some switches to switch in larger parallel capacitors. I didn't intend building this coupling unit for the AM broadcast band. It was really intended for 80 and 160 meters. I think that's about the strongest we've had it so far. And it's so loud that my ears are about 30 centimeters away from the headphones and I can still hear the audio. Even though it's the antenna coupler, it's behaving a bit like a tuning control. You can select different stations.
This receiver is more than a crystal set. When I switch this little switch here and apply power with this potentiometer and switch pot, I can turn on an audio amplifier and a Q multiplier. That Q multiplier allows the receiver to oscillate and for it to even tune in SSB signals on 160 meters. The audio amplifier, though just one transistor, also gives a lot of gain. It's just gone sunset and as you can hear there's a lot of stations. Got the set gently oscillating. But if I wind it back. You can hear quite a few. And that's even without adjusting the loop tuner. Thank you. 